journey, journey has been crazy. It really has. It's been a lot of ups and downs. Um, the experiences are just something that are, I don't know, never would have had if it wasn't at Kentucky and stuff that will stick with me for a lifetime. So it's something that I'm going to look back on, probably probably one of the happiest four years of my life and with all just with all the experiences of people you meet. I don't know. I'm just going to enjoy my last year and kind of make the most out of it. What are you going to do? What's your long-term goals? Long-term goals, I'm um, going to the PT school, be a physical therapist. Like That's what my dad, my dad does and then my brothers are also doing it as well. So it's kind of like a family thing we'll have going on. Um, also going to like a, I'm also like on the side of like a financial guy, like a financial advisor, which is something that I mean, I'm going to do kind of like for these guys because when they reach their goals and they get to like, um, yeah, when they get to their goals, they're just make sure they're being smart, you know. Are you the make next sure. Andrew Rogers? Is that what you're telling me? Um, Cousins guy, you know what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard enough, yeah. Because I remember I was talking to one of the media guys about it and they said something about him, but yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's not going to be the main thing I'm going to do, but like that's something I'm going to do for like these guys, just make sure they're being smart. And but yeah, so. You've heard those horror stories of guys who made yeah. and it's, it's hard to even fathom that guys can make that much money and then not have They any. just have none, yeah. So that's something that I'm just going to do and make sure these guys are going to be smart. And hopefully they'll, hopefully they'll listen. Because I've seen like, I mean, I've seen obviously when you, people get their contracts and stuff, they like get a car and all that stuff. But like, I mean, yeah, you can do that, but like, you know, it's like I'll be smart. You know? Yeah. <laughs> well, you have a unique perspective because you've seen, this is your fourth team that you've yeah. seen. And so many yeah. guys. <laughs> leave I mean you mentioned that about somebody getting a car I picture Bam Adebayo like sitting in front of that whatever it was it wasn't a Bentley Honda. <laughs> no it wasn't a Honda it was a Range Rover I thought he got a Range Rover was it a Range Rover I thought he got a Range Rover yeah but anyway um just what is, what have you kind of seen different about this group that maybe you haven't seen from Fox and Bam and and Monk and those guys and then Hamadou and you know last yeah. year all that. I mean everyone's different. I mean you could definitely compare people like all you want, but I don't know, this group as just like a whole it was just I'm sure you've already heard it already. Like they're just extremely competitive. Just I don't know, just something that they're just like wired differently, honestly, because it's some competitiveness is not something you could just like teach someone and force onto someone. And it's something these these guys have instantly, and it's something that's going to push them whether it's in individual workouts practice in the weight room and it's something that you can just like see whenever you watch us play and I feel like it's it's something that's going to define us this year. Will to win. Yeah, right. will to win. Yeah, I heard that plenty of times. <laughs> One of the things we heard uh, that some of the guys say is it seems like the, the motto this year is put your pride to the side. Is that what you've seen these guys do when they come in here and they're, they're working and, and they're trying to stay humble? Yeah, I mean that's definitely something that because everyone coming here they're obviously they're like the best player like in their, their state and stuff like that so um, to be here with a bunch of other players, you definitely got to put some of your pride to the side and just kind of buy into the whole team aspect. And that's something that you can see, you could tell when a team does that and how well they, how well they just are as a team. So, yeah, I mean, even like my, I'd say my sophomore year was probably one of my closest teams, probably um, out of the last like three years. And I feel like you can tell why, like you can tell that like we were both successful, had a chance to go, uh, like the final four so um i feel like and that, that kind of stuff yeah and, yeah and that kind of stuff goes with the team chemistry and it goes a long way yeah did, do you feel like i mean because you've heard heard this every year be your brother's keeper and mm -hmm. you know when you have joy for the success of someone else instead of worried about your own success yeah, yeah. Do, do you feel that maybe you're further ahead in that department with this group in a way um, i'd say so yeah especially with the trip and all the practices and stuff this summer I feel like a lot of people they're they're buying in and um, makes the team chemistry and everything like that just a lot better. And I feel like a lot of the practices in the summer really had something to do with that. How much we, we talked a little bit about the Bahamas there, but how much did that help you think, or do those summer trips help? I mean, don't get don't get to do it a whole lot. Yeah, uh, I definitely feel like it's something that should happen more often because yeah. it just it's something that first off you get to go and play against other professional teams and. Especially during the summer, you're doing all these workouts and playing pickup. You're going against each other for so long. It's always good to be able to play against other people and kind of be together as like one unit. And but yeah, I just feel like going down there is definitely a confidence booster for everyone and gives us kind of a starting point of where we are and how good we can be. And just it's going to make us. I mean, we're still just worried about getting better as individuals and as a team every day. And that's something that we'll continue to do like the entire year. 
they've given us a pretty positive vibe here, the, the younger guys especially. But is that are you are you sensing that too? Yeah, definitely. I feel like there's something about this group that just like like we said before, everyone's kind of buying into it. Everyone kind of is putting some of their pride aside and more buying into the team aspect. And I feel like that's something that you could even see whenever we uh, are playing games. So I think it's definitely something that stuck out to me too. It seems like PJ is a changed guy too. seems like he's on a mission or something maybe. Feel yeah. that? Um, yeah, I feel like a, lot of like a lot of these guys have the same kind of mindset, but I feel like especially with PJ, because he was right there, you know, as far as going to the next step and he sees like what it's like, what he has to do. And I feel like he just has more of like a lazy focus, and, and I feel like that's like whenever someone changes their attitude like that, I mean, he didn't really change that, but you know what I mean, like yeah. focus in. I feel like that's something that's definitely going to benefit him, and something you'll be able to see. A year makes a lot of difference for all people. A year definitely, especially when they come here as 17, 18 years old, and all that experience would definitely is obviously just going to benefit him and everyone more.